complete new challenge for me. I was never really interested in wood. I was never really interested in the history, and now I'm, you know, I'm deep into it, and I'm, I'm loving it. It's brilliant. I was um, working at the beginning of COVID in a garage. Uh, they were scaling down, so I got made redundant. By that point, I was working my days off at Collerton, and Greg, thankfully and very luckily for me, um, offered me the apprenticeship and the full-time job here. We fit it onto the edge of the fellies. We then quickly cool it as, as quickly as we can, and then these small gaps here and the gaps here, they'll all tighten up at once, hopefully, and that will then give us a nice tight wheel. Bringing all those joints up nice and tight at the exact same time, you really have no kind of error room. You're talking up to all those joints. Pops and bangs and... Taking an apprentice is really hard. The first year you, you're losing money because there's no funding for craft apprentices or anything like that. The second year they start coming into their own and hopefully the third year they start flying. So Sam's just into his third year. I can leave him to make a wheel on his own now. And it's, it's just a joy to pass on the knowledge that is that you don't know you have, the tacit knowledge which is in you, which you start seeing coming through their hands that's when it starts getting rewarding. It does take, you know, quite some time and a lot of goes at doing it really, but there's a lot of satisfaction in this job and it's, it's brilliant. You know, and this, is, this is me for life now, uh, my passion to keep this business going and uh, bring it forward.